In today's show, we have a story on the haunted trail. A stand up with Allie. Who's there? And a knock knock joke session. And a story about the sports equipment. Okay. And a BuzzFeed quiz segment. Hi, Vikes. I'm Jessica. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Madison, did you go to the haunted trails at the school last week? Sadly, I didn't. Let's go see what she missed. Students and kids enjoyed a spooky night at the haunted trail put on by FFA and Thespian Society. <coughs> During the day, they had a kids trip. Favorite part of my trail is actually the kids games because we get to put them all together and then the kids get to go and do whatever they want. So we put together six games and then all the kids get to just have fun and get candy for every single one. It goes towards um, both FFA and uh, Seaman Theater for our its department. And um, we also collect canned goods that goes towards Tot's um, tri trick or treat so kids can eat. During the night, they had an adult trail, including themes like Easter, Thank you. Christmas, and Thanksgiving. The Haunted Trail raised over $2,700 for both the Thespian Society and FFA. Dang, that would have been fun. Now over for your daily announcements. Juniors, there's an ACT survey on School G. Please complete this by Friday. Our counselor, Mr. Alexander, has been nominated as a Life Changer of the Year. Check out School G to help him win. Scholar Bowl had their first meet and placed fourth. Viking Brew shirt orders are in. Swing by Ms. Schaefer's room, W9, to grab yours. Seniors, if you're worried about the cost of college, then Allie went to find out more information. Happy Halloween, Bikes. I'm here with Alex to talk about what's going on in the library today. You want to hear something really spooky? It's how to pay for college. That's what's going on in the library today. Ms. Ross will be there to answer your questions on FAFSA, on finding where scholarships are, trying to help your parents or you, if you're on your own, pay for college. So come today to the library and get your questions answered. Awesome. If you're interested in that, make sure and go to the library right now. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to stop by the counselor office before school ends. Shawnee North Community Center will sponsor Tales on the Trail this Saturday. Have any questions, check Schoology. Madison went around the school asking people if they had any knock-knock jokes. I'm Madison, and today's National Knock-Knock Joke Day. We caught up with some people to hear their best knock-knock jokes. Tell us your best knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes the police open up. Tell us your best knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Etch. Etch who? Bless you. What's your best knock-knock joke? Knock-knock. Who's there? Robin. Robin who? Robin you. Hand over the cash. Tell us your best knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. Tell us your best knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Boo. <laughs> Tell us your best knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry about it. It's just a joke. Those were some pretty good knock-knock jokes. That's it for National Knock-Knock Joke Day. Those were some pretty funny knock-knock jokes. Let's head over to Madison with sports. I gotta think of a project for my entrepreneurship I class. I know. We'll sell products and we'll call it Market Day. Scoops Ahoy is selling ice cream sandwiches and hot choco latte. If ice cream is what you need, CJ's does that. Brownies and ice cream, hometown sweet specialty. Feeling hungry for a nuggie? Check out Broke Boys. Ice cream and cinnamon, an absolute classic. Brought to you by JP12. Market Day is November 5th and 6th during your Cal period. Make sure to bring money. And when we sell these products, we'll make it rain money. A 
A boys swim team informational meeting is today during CALP in room 911. The boys soccer team has their regional championship game and it starts at 6.15 p.m. This year some of the sports teams have new equipment. Justin went out and found more information about it. The Seaman High School Booster Club recently donated a tunnel for some Seaman sports to use. I like the tunnel, the new tunnel, because it's just fun to run out of with the guys, running onto the field with everyone, all the fans there yelling, band playing is pretty fun. It's a little more exciting than normal than we used to have. Running through a banner last year was fun, but like running through a tunnel, it's like dark and then you come out and like it's bright and you see all the fans and like the whole field and you just run into midfield with all the other players, it's pretty fun. It's a lot more exhilarating than last year was. Over the summer, the boys and girls soccer team got a new turf soccer field. Well, our soccer field is new and that's been a nice addition to our complex. We went from a grass field to a turf field. It was put in over the summer. It was ready for our first day of practice, so that's been a nice addition. The new field had many donors, including Apple Hands Roofing, Kansas Turf, and Palmer Law Group. Uh, the school board made the decision to uh, find the money to put in the field. Uh, so I would say our school board was probably more involved than anybody in trying to make this happen, and they, they did. The field is out of commission until girls' soccer starts, as the boys finished up their regular season and had their last home game against Schladel. The new equipment looks good this year. Even though tennis is over, senior Emma Biggs and sophomore Grace Unruh were awarded 2019 Centennial League Tennis Players of the Year. Good job, girls. The football playoffs are here. The first game will be tonight in Olathe at 7 p.m. The theme is Halloween. Now let's head over to Jessica to see what tonight's weather is going to be for the games. weather. The high today is going to be in the 40s and tonight it's going to drop down into the 20s. For your SVTV three-day forecast, tomorrow is going to be in the 40s and this weekend is going to warm up into the 50s. Now back to your anchors. Since it's Halloween and some students know what to dress up and some don't know what to dress up for, we have a BuzzFeed story about what you should be for Halloween. <laughs> Okay, first pick a spooky house. Okay. Go. Spooky movie. Yeah. Pick a spooky creature. Stop laughing at me. Pick some spooky decor. Wow, that one's pretty scary. Okay, pick a spooky TV show. Stranger Things. I haven't even heard of half of those. Anna, treat. Wow, I'm a piece of pizza. I could see myself as a piece of pizza. You know, pepperoni, the best kind. Just saying. You know, I, ha I have some similar qualities to a pizza. I got a mouse still. <laughs> Simply throw together any outfit, put some mouse ears on your head and your look is complete. I'll have to take that quiz because I have no idea what to dress up as. Tomorrow we'll have a story on a teacher impact. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.